Now, this is another question on the use of lots of log limbs. Now, we have if log 8 base 8 is equal to x, we are asked to express log 5 base 8 in terms of x. This might actually look somewhat short, but it might be a little bit technical. So we need to look at the way to simplify. This was actually picked from one of the jump um, questions. So we are asked to break down log 5 base 8 in terms of x. So we have log 5 base 8. Since this is what we are working towards to, we can break down 5 in the way that is going to involve 10. So we can make it log 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 will give us 5. Then the base will not change, 8. From a lot of log limbs, this can also be expressed as log 10 base 8 minus log 2 base 8. Now, when you look at what we are given earlier from the question, log 8 divided by 8 is equal to x. So that means we know this. The whole of this has been given to us to be x. So this is x now minus log. This 2 is the same thing as saying 2 raised to power 1. Why this 8 is the same thing as saying 2 raised to power 3? So we can just continue this side of the world. We have x minus log 2, 2, 1 over 3. This thing will go up and this one becomes 1 over 3. From our previous class, we explained this as part of our laws. Because we are explaining now the laws of log limbs. So we can still go back and check on this to understand this better. So we can do that x minus, this is a power, the power will come to the back. It becomes 1 over 3. And we now have log 2, log 2 base 2. Log 2 base 2 will give us 1. Anytime the log and the base are the same, it becomes 1. So we now have it to be x minus 1 over 3 times 1. This is already 1. So it's gone. So we now have v to be x minus 1 over 3. It means that log 5 base 8 has been expressed in the form of x as x minus 1 over 3. And that's what the question is asking us to do. Thank you. We'll meet in our next class.